Hi there team, I'm going to show you a bit of a whistle stop tour of how you can use resistance bands to add a little bit of challenge to loads of different strength exercises today. Um, you can use them in most sort of body weight strength exercises just to add a little bit of additional challenge. So I'll, I'll show you a few examples and hopefully that'll give you a few ideas. The nice thing about the resistance band is that it weight only adds resistance kind of when you're pushing it away from the ground because you're going against gravity. Whereas the resistance band, you can add that resistance in pretty much any direction you'd like, depending on where you attach the other end of the band to. So think outside the box a little bit with those ideas. So first couple of simple suggestions is how to add a little bit extra, for example, to something like squats. So the squat exercise is working into the key leg muscles, quads, hamstrings and glutes in your bum. But by taking a wide stance squat with our feet slightly rotated out to the side and a band around our knees, we're suddenly also working into the glutes that are externally rotating our legs. So the stabilising glute muscles, which are really good for balance and control when we're running. So all you do is put the band around the knees, just above the knees, and then squat as usual, but you'll find as you go down into that squat here, you're really having to use the muscles in your bum to push against this band because otherwise your knees are going to start collapsing inwards. So you want to really press into that band as you squat down and up and that will add a really nice additional aspect to just a simple squat exercise. A few other things you can do with just the band around the knees is thinking about bridge pose. So again, another good glute stability and glute power exercise, but we can really get some extra bang for our buck by again having that band around the knees. So it could just be doing our standard bridge with that band. It's a little bit of a reminder that we want those knees to be remaining parallel as we go up and down. We can even, when we're in the bridge starting position, do a little bit of a resistance exercise, pushing one knee out to the side, but the challenge is keeping the other knee absolutely still as the resistance of that band increases on that knee. When we start moving up to things like one-legged bridges, that band makes things even more of a stability challenge. So it makes it that much more difficult for those knees to stay absolutely in line with the hips. So this can add a really nice challenge just on the sort of classic variations of bridge pose. Another real favourite of mine for runners is working on sideways walks or toe taps. And these are exercises that really are tailor-made for using these resistance bands. So start off with it around your knees, a little bit of a bend in both legs, and a little slow and gentle walk side to side. Ideally in front of the mirror, because what we want is that those knees are always pointing forward, so you're leading the movement with your knee. Or we can do a version where we tap the toe out to the side, tap the toe out and back at 45 degrees, tap the toe straight back. So all sorts of different movements that you can do from this starting position using that band as some extra resistance. Next thing we can think about is how we can use the band for the upper body. So I prefer having a really kind of long one if you've got one available, because um, it helps do exercises while you're actually in standing. So one thing you can do is step with the band kind of halfway uh, along this long band. You've got your foot in the middle of it on the floor. Take a decent sort of wide stance, a little bit of a bend in the knee. You're taking the side of the band that's furthest away, so you can pull it out from under your feet, in the opposite hand. And we can do what's called a wood chop, so you start lunging to one side, go to the opposite corner of the room, and back with that band. So this is a great all-body exercise. You'd often see people doing it in the gym with weights or with a cable pull machine, so you're holding weight in those two hands, but actually the band works just as well. Twist those shoulders, twist the torso, you're getting some core engagement in here as well. Really nice exercise to do. Another one you can do standing up with this band, Oop, getting it on 
the floor again. We want to step into the centre of it this time, cross the ends over, hold onto them tightly. And here we can start to do some upper body exercises. So if I go side on, hinge forward at the hips, we can almost do a little bit of a row movement here. So a dead row movement, pulling the shoulders out wide, and pulling the shoulder blades together behind you. Or even the classic row movement, the little bit shorter on the band, so a little bit more resistance, coming up and then coming back down again as an alternative to doing this with weights. Final little one you can do with one of these longer bands is in the all fours position, making sure that the knee is pinning that band in place. Again, you can cross over. And then if you've done any of these kind of Superman style movements where you're trying to brace that core, lifting the arms off in different directions, you do the same the other way round, so the band's under the hands, got it looped around the foot. So like that, and then looped around a leg. Again, in all fours, but you're pushing backwards with that back leg. There's loads of different alternatives to how you can just add a little bit of extra challenge to standard, fairly familiar, hopefully, exercises with the band. The other way of thinking about the band is that you don't have to use the band just kind of wrapped around your own limbs. You can attach the other end of it to something fairly solid. And it is useful to bear in mind that this is something fairly solid. So as an example, I've got a fairly thick resistance band around the top of one of my banisters. You can then step into it and have it up around your hips and you can do resistance lunges, forward lunges, side lunges and backwards lunges with that band around your hips, the other end attached to a banister. You can also, if you've got a fairly heavy bit of furniture like a sideboard, again I've got around one of the legs at the bottom of my bed, have a band that's attached to something so you can put it around your ankles at ground level. And from here you can do a whole host of different exercises, so working the muscles on the inside of your thighs, which is actually quite difficult to do without a resistance band. You can work your hip flexor muscles for a little bit of power on your knee drive when you're running. You can do some of the toe tap exercises that add a little bit more extra resistance. So we're engaging the glutes here and tapping that foot back. So think a little bit, massive cliche here and I hate it, but think a little bit outside the box. <laughs> think about the strength exercises that you're doing at the moment what you know, sort of range of movement you're working in. If you're doing in a sideways movement, go, well, actually, hang on, have I got a resistance band? Could I take the other end round a, a banister or something solid at about waist height and add resistance into those sideways exercises? If I'm moving up and down, could I have the band round the feet to resist that movement coming back up? So have a, have a, hopefully that's a good set of ideas to get your imagination flowing. And it'd be, it'd be great to hear what other exercises you've added your resistance bands to.